I ran the numbers before I came here. The, the, the neighborhood is safe. You heard him there that San Antonio Police Chief William McManus's message to neighbors at the woods of Chavano almost a week after a deadly shooting. A man was killed while attending a party at a short term rental home in that neighborhood. Tonight, people living there asking city leaders about their own safety moving forward. The night team's John Paul Barajas was there. How is the best way for this community to shut this down? Frustrated neighbors at the woods of Chavano packed their clubhouse with one goal, making sure a shooting like the one in their neighborhood July 31st never happens again. I was shocked, and yeah, of course I'm concerned. Terry O'Donnell is on the Communities Association's board. He shared the sentiments of many after Jordan Benjamin Burleson was shot and killed at a short-term rental home on Hawthorne Woods. That place was rented to people with gang affiliations. And the person who was shot that night, they were after him. It wasn't just an accidental shooting. While San Antonio Police Chief William McManus assured neighbors their community is safe, he said no arrests have been made. As for the homeowner renting the property, City Development Services says their short-term rental permit expired in April. And we issued the citation. Again, I know it's not a lot, but it's a $1,000 uh, citation. That's the max I can go. But Amin Tamas confirmed the city would pursue further action through its short-term rental ordinance. To shut down that place for one year due to the, the criminal activity, okay? I'm working with the city attorney's office already. As for preventing future shootings, District 8 Councilman Manny Pelias urged people to be persistent with 311 and their neighborhood safe officers so there's record of any bad behavior. Where we take our neighbors very seriously, their rights to quiet enjoyment of their neighborhoods, and that we will not allow, will continue to allow these Airbnbs to be used like party houses. John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News.